What's up, everybody? So I just got through watching the Truth and Consequence episode, Consequences episode of Scandal. And all I got to say is grits. That's right, G-R-I-T-S, grits. When there's nothing else left to say, all I say is grits, child. Let's go ahead and get started. Olivia, you know, this is probably the first time since I've been watching this show, that I ever felt sorry for you. Because, girl, truth be told, you're just broken. you in love with another woman's husband that he thinks he's going to divorce his wife to come to you. But we all know that ain't happening. But you in love with another woman's husband. You got a good man, Edison, child that most of y'all call Bill Cosby's son. That is hilarious because he looks just like a young version of Bill Cosby. But you got a man, Edison, who don't knock when he come over to your house. All he do is just use his key or whatever he uses to just walk in your house. Who well, He's a good man too, Olivia. Um, but you don't want him because you're in love with Fitz. Fitz married to a woman who's pregnant, about to have their third child. And you can't fix this situation with Hollis. Um, who shot the president, you can't solve that mystery. And then you got um, the election scandal that you just can't fix. Girl, you're falling off your game. You can't fix nothing these days. And then you sitting at home all up in the bed depressed and stuff. I'm going to need for you to pour yourself a glass of wine, put on some lipstick, and I need for you to pull yourself together, girl, because if you can't fix nothing, who going to fix it? You can't depend on Cyrus because all Cyrus' idea of fixing stuff is killing people. So is Hollis' idea of uh, fixing stuff is is framing people and blowing up buildings with that old crazy ass whole Becky. It, it, it's just too much, girl. So we're gonna need for you to get it together because you got people. It, it, that's one thing about the show. You got people. Libby got people. Hollis got people. David got people. Um. Um, Cyrus got people, everybody got damn people, but people can't fix nothing. People can't fix a damn thing. So Olivia, pull yourself together. Stop telling lies for one, because you sat there and you told Cyrus that you were emotionally involved with Fitz. Honey, if that's what you call emotionally involved, then child, that ain't emotionally involved. Honey, you were sexually involved, physically, emotionally, socially Child, you was everything politically involved with Fitz. You just wasn't emotionally involved. Um, so like I said, this was probably the first time that I really felt sorry for you. But you're the fixer. So I'm going to need for you to pull yourself together. And I'm going to need for you to fix what's broken. Because everybody else can't do it. Um, but let me let me digress for a minute. Because not only you know am I or other people. Because some of y'all get upset with me when I call Olivia Hope. And I don't know what your definition of a whore is, but um, in my book, she a hoe. Now, I'm going to try to stop calling her a hoe. She's a home wrecker. That's exactly what she is. And all you people out there that try to justify her behavior, it's inappropriate for her to be sleeping with the president. Anywho, I'm not the only one who feels that way. Apparently, Star Jones feels that way too. Y'all remember her. She's the ex-co-host of The View. Um, she married a homosexual who left her. When she left him, she had that gastric bypass surgery, but she tried to say that she lost the weight naturally. Um, she used her spot on The View to get people to pay for her wedding and accept all these freebies and stuff like that. And, you know, that's the one who Nene be cussing out or Nene was cussing out on The Apprentice and all that good stuff like that. That's who Star Jones is. Basically, she tweeted this. She said, question for Shonda Rhimes. Why does Olivia Pope reject finance Senator, Senate major leader Edison Davis for married POTUS with a president with a pregnant wife? Pound scandal. She said, I get power. I get position. If you got power and you got position, then you answer your own question. Honey. You see why Olivia is falling all over the place, losing her mind behind the president. But Shonda Rhimes, can the fierce, powerful single sister pick up the fierce, powerful single brother? Pound scandal. No, he cannot because he's boring. He looked like Bill Cosby. But I love scandal. Kerry Washington is ridiculous good, but I love to see Olivia reject the unethical and moral behavior 
for a good brother. And that's what a whore is, y'all. They're immoral and they're unethical and they sleep with people's means. They attack. Holes attack. That's exactly what they do. But anyway, Olivia, pull yourself together, girl. I'm rooting for you. I'm going to need for you to come back from the dead and I'm going to need for you to fix things. So like I said, go ahead, pour yourself a glass of wine, put on some lipstick on them chap ass lips that you be having and pull yourself together. But one thing you did do, girl, is that you did um, train them gladiators very, very well. Child, that was some mess session. That was a mess session that they had up in Olivia Pope's and Associates, the little conference room, child. They're going to sit there on um, Quinn. Oh, no, Quinn, God damn it! I'm so sick of you. For one day, all of us tell each other everything we did know. So, Quinn... Um, we found that the her boyfriend was the one who rigged the election and he got greedy and, um, Hollis got rid of his ass, boom, to pieces. And we found out that, um, Hulk stuck that needle on her neck and drugged her and transported her off to Washington, D.C. from the West Coast using the plane that judged cancer. And like, oh, let's go ahead and say a prayer for Judge Cancer because she looked like she's in her final days, child. They need to go ahead and call hospice and... Because it's about time to go ahead and lay her to rest, child. But um, Hulk rode the plane that's registered to Verna back over to the West Coast. Abby, that strange bird, child. She went ahead and admitted that she knew that Hollis had um, framed Quinn this whole time. And that she was sleeping with David. And then you got David who's sitting there um, Issuing them little idle threats and stuff like that. David, let me tell you something. Child, you're worthless. At the end of the day, you're worthless. All it takes is one call. One call, that's all, that will destroy your case. Just like Judge Cancer destroyed your case last time up in that courthouse. And Cyrus got the Attorney General to go ahead and destroy your case at the same time, too. On top of that, come to find out, Olivia um, Hollis wasn't the one who had set up to have the president assassinated, child. So you just got too many holes in your case. You thought you had a solid case, but you don't. So your bark, you your bark don't got no bite or no your bite don't got no bark or whatever it is, child. Give up. Go ahead and retire and go sleep with that strange bird some more. But one thing I can say is that that darn Hulk. Now that's my favorite gladiator there because Hulk is very loyal. But Hulk got to stop. Wanting to kill people because that's what Olivia, he came in and Olivia laid down in the bed with her child and they sit there looking up at the sky, looking all crazy and stuff. And Hulk told, um, Olivia told him, Hulk, you got to stop killing people. But in Hulk eyes, that's the only justifiable, justifiable way to end a problem. That's his version, him and Cyrus's version of fixing things. And then his crazy ass went to go see that old killer Becky. And she gave him the child. It is. It was just too much going on. But them gladiators, that was a mess session. That's what I'm talking about. Everybody tell everything that's damn going on. And that's a perfect example of how you can't trust everybody. You working with people. You think you know them. And everybody keeping damn secrets. Skeletons in the closet. Let me switch gears for a minute. Let me talk about Fitz and Millie. Now, um, I, I got a question. Where y'all children at? Like, we always hear about the two kids that y'all have, but we don't never see them. So, I don't know if Shonda Rhimes is saving up maybe some storylines a year or two from now when they're teenagers and they running them up. And all, Olivia got to fix that. But, where y'all churning at, child? We don't never, ever, ever see them. And Fitz, you a bad, bad bitch, too. Because, child, you done got shot. You done went up to heaven and you done seen sweet baby Jesus. And he done told you that you need a divorce, Millie. And that you will remain president. And that Cyrus will make it happen. And in that damn order. Now that's what I'm talking about. That's that power. And then that's position. That we talking about child. He basically told them. I'm going to divorce her. And I'm going to remain president. And Cyrus you better make it happen. Pound in that order. But at the end of the day. Fitz you ain't got no right to ask Olivia to wait for you child. Because you got too much going on. She ain't got time to be waiting for you. So y'all can just still hang around and kiss each other behind closed doors and all that stuff. But when I tell you, baby, Miss Millie went into that hospital and induced her label. She um, induced her labor. She went ahead and played that final card that she had to hold on to her husband. And she, 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 she trying to give birth and she reaching out her hand like this right here to him. 
And he just sitting there looking at her. And then he got it together and he went on over there. So we'll see what happened next week when that baby born child. I hope you're going to try to say the baby is slow with Down syndrome or some kind of crazy stuff. Make up lies or kill the baby off or something like that. I hope none of that happens. But anyway, I want to save the best for last. That damn Hollis doll. That old big ass white man from Texas. I tell you, did you see when um, Hollis was in the office with David and David made all those accusations and he had his whole team of lawyers circle around him like a damn shark. Let me tell you something about people like um Hollis Doyle. That's a powerful ass man. And David even said that he owns half of the country child. So the only way to get rid of people like Hollis Doyle is to kill him. If you don't kill him, child, he gonna continue to be running around causing all kind of craziness and confusion and even if you do kill him that type of rich white man got a plan that will reach out from the pits of hell and destroy all of us upon the lands of the living i really really believe that so um i don't know what's going to happen next week when we um see what happens with hollis in that elevator with that old psycho from that um assassin the assassin's team that hawk is on but child this is that's just how I feel. The only way that you can get rid of somebody like Hollis is to kill their ass. Dallas, um, Jr. from Dallas said it best. Rich people don't go to jail. The people who clean up after them are the ones that do. So I hope all their asses don't end up going to jail behind this election rigging. But child, I can't wait the next week's episode so we can see what's happening. But I'll holler at y'all later. I'll see y'all Thursday.